Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 120. I, I just saw that a minute ago. I'm tired. It's episode 120, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We've been making our way around Dantooine. We just took care of the Crystal Caves and did a little bit of cave crawling there. Um, we should probably go back to the admin and um, and then turn in the whole the whole cave crawling thing, and then we can start getting into the rest of the options for uh, that area right there. So I've got my blasters out. Let me. Uh, hmm. No, I don't want to keep Goto. I I, I wanted him for that conversation because I thought. He was supposed to pipe up at some point about the value of finding the sensors and, and help me get a better price out of the guy, but uh, that didn't happen. So, uh, let's go ahead. You know, I'll, I'll grab Visa so that way I can level her while I'm at it too, because uh, she, she hasn't been getting much, much play this uh this game. Alright, stealth and awareness and treat injury are the skills that we've been keeping her squared away on. And for powers, uh, we're working on the stun and stun droid line and trying to get her up on those. Okay. Oh, yep, no, constitution trying to get her up to the higher level. Um, implants so that so I really want to get that up to 18 uh, even though I wouldn't mind getting a few more in strength too skills same ones we've been working on she doesn't have many but what she does have are amazing all right uh, ooh, here was one of the good questions what did I want to I forgot what feet branches I was really trying to work on with her I kind of hate that weapons focus is as high as she gets with the lightsaber, but I mean, that that, that is the way it goes. Uh, I don't want to do the advanced Jedi defense. The way this game is set up, the way Knights of the Old Republic 2 is set up, it's just not, it's not worth it. It really isn't. I might want to do the weapon, the medium armor proficiency because there are some face masks and other stuff that she could wield that would help with that. Uh, they don't count as medium armor for purposes of interfering with uh, force abilities. As we found out using them ourselves. Although, because she does die an awful lot, Master Toughness would be really good. Matter of fact, Master Toughness is going to be where I go. And then maybe I'll do the Force Regen. So she can spend some of her powers healing herself. Alright, let's uh, finish up that Destroy Droid. Okay, except skills, same way, feats, a left and a right. Um, no, now we're going to do the regenerate force points. What do we want to do? No, she's already got regenerate health. Okay. And we're going to finish the, oh, no, 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 not kill. Mm-mm, mm-mm. That that way that way lies the dark side. I forgot she start she came to us from a, as a dark side character, so she's got some dark side uh, powers available to her. Let's uh, let's start working on the uh, stun person line, shall we? Okay, there we go. All right, let's close out on. The, oh 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 oh! Almost forgot. Almost forgot. Um. Let's uh, switch to not a lightsaber as the primary. Uh, no, you don't get dark side points for using dark side skills. It's just a penalty on how many force points it costs to uh, use them. So if you if you look, battle meditation, uh, I've got a base cost of 35 points. Oh, wait, no, that's a universal power. That's a bad example. Where's the light side power? There we go. So you get a light side power like Master Heal. And if you look at that table on the bottom right, you see the base cost is 25. 
because I am completely aligned on the light side, there's an adjustment of minus 14, meaning it cost me a net 11 points because it's a light side power and I am aligned to the light side. So now let's go and let's take a look at her. Um, she is light side aligned now. And then let's take a dark side power like Choke. It's got a base cost of 20 points. Because it's a dark side power and she's now a light side character, that means it costs an additional 11 points, making it a total force points cost of, of 31. Yikes. And so the next level is going to cost more, plus a plus 11 adjustment for her being light side aligned. Um, and she's got the light side mastery. So yeah, it's especially rough. Uh, I do want to give her the blasters though, because we're about to go walking around with people and, uh, having a lightsaber out would be not good. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to do, uh, no, instead of aggressive, I want to change her to Jedi support. And he should be set not for aggressive or grenadier, but for ranged. Okay. Let's see if they'll actually follow the choices I gave them. Because that's been one of the problems with Knights of the Old Republic 2 is there were a lot of bugs. And even with the restored content mod, some of the stuff just doesn't seem to work right. Like when you set people up for certain things or you queue up certain actions... They don't always do what they were supposed to have done. And uh, that's that's slightly problematic. By the way, I'm trying to remember. Alright, so that was to the Crystal Cave. That's to the Enclave Courtyard. That's to the Enclave Courtyard. Uh, well, you know... I, I do normally run around with my lightsaber everywhere. But these people have a thing against Jedi, and it makes a lot of what you want to do more difficult if you run around with a lightsaber. So I'm trying not to cause trouble for a change. Every once in a while. All right, let's see if he's going to say something different. Another interruption. Yes, another let's interruption. I want to start something. You want to start something? Let's start it right here, right now. Yeah, yeah, Someone yeah. You talk is. tough. All right, we, oh, no, 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 not the weapons merchant. I mean, we do want to talk to him eventually, but not right now. Uh, was this one? Yep, yeah, that was one of the locked doors that we'll get to later, I think. I hope. Let's uh, turn it's in our quest. Again. It's you again. I know who I am. I figure you've got a reason for coming back. Well, yes, you I do. Something. I cleared out the Kenroth cave. So you did. Here's the credits I told hmm. you about. Even with the caves cleared, I imagine it'll take some time before the Kinrath aren't on the plains. That was yeah. very helpful of you. You've saved Thank some you. lives today. You want something? Um. All right. Nothing new to talk about. Ooh, two K. Nice. All right. Well, I was complaining about money earlier, and I just got. 5k total, 3 for the atmospheric sensors, and then another 2 from that guy. So that's that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go quite that far uh, to, to calling it modern decor. Alright, uh, uh, which way is, which way is going to be quicker? And eventually, we should find a way to repair these turrets. But in the meantime, it's just going to yammer about them being old and worn. No, I don't watch enough of your British design shows. But uh, I, I, I don't know if you've seen my decorating style. Um... Uh, no, nobody, nobody's, no, nobody's calling me the master of decor, or even the master of decorum. But that's a separate discussion entirely.
All right, let's, uh, okay. Well, that can't be good. Can it? There's an awful lot of fires there. All right. Um, hmm. Well. Let's start here, then. Tape a gathered a group to go to the sub-level. They're probably all going to get killed. Well, that's optimistic of you. Oh, the visitor comes <laughs> to our delightful salvager camp. Mm -hmm. We are honored. Do you come bringing your credits and curiosity? <laughs> credits and curiosity? Are you selling something? <laughs> Fortunate. This camp smells like the back end of a bantha. And you thought they smelled bad on the outside. Oh, wait, no. Wrong critter. Um, Are you selling something? Am I that transparent to you? Yes, Apparently yes you are. So, I am Rala, known throughout this camp for the many artifacts of value that I have uncovered. Mm. An expert artifacts of value. A question I pose to you, traveler. Do you wish to buy one of the most elusive of all Jedi artifacts? A powerful Jedi holocron. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Fabled and powerful, isn't that exaggeration? How much you want for it? Uh... You found a holocron? I'm impressed. You flatter me, traveler. It was a good day when I found this holocron. <laughs> but you are lucky, for I will sell it to you for a low price. I bet I you will. A mere 1,000 credits for this A mere 1,000 credits. This is not a matter of negotiation. You should buy a quick... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Company. Here come the high-pressure sales tactics. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah, you, you really need to buy this because I got another customer who might be coming in any minute now. You, you should totally buy this because... Never mind. I'm not going there. All right. Uh, can I expect it? Maybe it's broken. Oh, I assure you it isn't. I will show it to you presently. Mm -hmm. well, as you can see, it is in fine shape. A real bargain at a mere 1,000 credits. A mere 1,000 credits. Well, that is a remarkable fake, but it's not even worth the time you wasted describing it. How, how did you know? Well, I never <laughs> unload this accursed thing. This isn't my fault. You can't blame me. Uh, how is this not your fault? <laughs> yes. Well, you know, that is an option too. But <laughs> actually, I can blame you. Violently. That's always an option. Um... How isn't this your fault? This forgery has passed through several hands in this camp. I am merely the latest victim. I wish to what, and nobody warned you? Uh, I thought this was a delightful camp. <laughs> I'm holding you responsible, by force if need be. And when I say force, I mean force. You catch my drift? No. Uh, so you didn't make this? No, of course not. Another salvager sold it to me. And he bought it from mm -hmm. another one before him. When there were more salvagers, incidents like this were common. Oh, but now there are a few of us and I'm stuck with this garbage. There's no <laughs> way I can make it home to my family and children. Uh... Oh, so now we're going to go to the sob story? Look at that awareness check. This is what... Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you dump a bunch of points and awareness on your primary character. So you can have moments like this where you go, I don't think you even have a wife. You with all your observations. I'm not going to talk to you about the holocron anymore. <laughs> so, what should we talk about? Uh, do you know anything about a thief? You should talk to Dorala. I've told her everything I know. I think I saw the thief by the ruins of the Enclave. Yeah. I believe that the thief has to be living in the sub-level. Uh -huh. Because every place else has been visited many times by the salvagers. I didn't get a clear look at the thief. It was dark and the ruins look, provide many hiding places. You're two for two on lies to me, so, uh... Oh, I'm not seeing the awareness check. This is not a face of trust. There isn't much to see around here. The planet is very lightly populated mm -hmm. by settlers, mercenaries. It was lightly populated the last time we were here in Knights of the Old Republic. All right, what can you tell me about the settlers? They want nothing to do with us. The only thing they want is part of our profits. Now that salvaging is running out, I doubt they will tolerate our presence much longer. Well, that's fair. What about the mercenaries? I don't know nor care. They're trouble. But fortunately, they ignore us. When they're looking for work, they mainly bother the settlers. Uh. 
And what about the salvagers? We come from many different planets, drawn to the rumors of fortune. I believe the early salvagers did make some credits, but latecomers like myself barely find anything. Early salvagers said that the ruins were mostly empty to begin with. Many think that the administrator didn't allow us to salvage until her people were done with it. Okay. Alright, let me get going. And I need to make another crew roster adjustment. Um, because I almost forgot that I'm going to need him to uh, meet some friends in a minute. Which means I should probably level him up too. Alright, let's get his awareness and treat injury up. Because those are the only skills he really has. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, he's got one of the Zerizium rifles that I've fully equipped already. I need to get the next one upgraded and over in HK's hands. Because that's way better than the big honking blaster he's got right now. Alright. And I don't know why I gave him a sword, but... I mean, it could come in handy. Alright, so... Is it this way? Alright, I already talked to him. Let me talk to Darala first. You're a new salvager? Or one of those Kunda Cantina rats coming here to complain? Uh, I guess I'm a salvager, technically. No, I'm not a salvager. Oh, is that so? You're no mercenary, and with those armaments, this isn't a social call. How very You're perceptive of you. Of heading to the ruins. I'm going to give you some advice. Turn, Turn back. back. There's nothing you're going to find. <laughs> uh, why don't you think I'll find anything? Because anything valuable in the ruins was carted away months ago. Mm -hmm. The only salvagers left are either desperate, ornery, or not right. And which head. one are you? And while you look dirty enough to be here, Oh, hey, 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 hey. Any of those Easy things. on the dirty. So go back to Kunda. Uh, surely there's something left? The only thing left is the sublevel, and that's crawling with leg wrecks. And those things are smarter than half the salvagers no, that here. That doesn't seem to take, no, much. That don't take much. I mean, talk and to the guy about the holocron. Don't ask any pesky questions. You're new, and no one is going to help you out. Is that because you say? Why won't anyone help me? Because there isn't enough salvage to share with the people already here. And a hungry newcomer is about as welcome as a diuretic hut. <laughs> um, well, that's a vision. <laughs> I really didn't need to, that image put in my head. All right. Uh, I don't know. You need your permission. I'm going to the runes. I've come a long way. So what do you do around here? Let me ask that first. I've been here the longest, and I'll be here last. Hmm. I buy Jedi salvage from the ruins. Slow business now, but I get by. I'll bet. Uh, so who do you sell to? Sometimes I sell them to visitors like yourself. Besides, that's none of your flaming business. Okay. Can I see what you have for sale? You should have let me know you're a customer instead of letting me think you're some disease-ridden salvager. Oh, come on. Let me show you what I've Dis got. Do I look diseased? Oh. Oh, hello. Ooh. These are options, aren't they? So we got the adept robe here. Con dex and strength. Uh, it seems a good equivalent to the robe that I have, just bumping the physical stats instead of the mental stats. Most of my physical stats are high enough that I, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, gray Jedi robe, Jedi robe, those aren't any better than what I got right now. Ooh, these are some of the upgrades that I've been uh, meaning to pick up. But on the other hand, I've also got a couple of crystals that I just got out of the cave, so I really need to see who's got what and what's worth uh, hanging on to. And I need to see who's got color-coded what. That's part of how I tell whose lightsaber <laughs> it belongs to whom when I'm doing the upgrades is by the color. And there's enough, enough colors going around. Sonic damage. Uh, no... Uh, no. E isn't bad. Um, yeah, that sigil crystal. That op Opila? Opelia? That crystal's not bad. 
Here's the other question. Improved ion energy cell. Now I can build better than that. Improve deatum. Now I can build better than that. Uh, I can build better than that. 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 Okay. Well, that's good to know. Okay, so there is where I can go sell some stuff later. Um, let's, uh, let's see what else is around here. Shall we? I mean, besides cathounds, apparently. Oh, fill in all the map. There we go. Alright, let's, uh, let's take care of some of these critters. XP's always nice. Bam. Oh, yeah, I like that option even better. I can't loot him for stakes? Alright. Let's repeat then. That works so well. Oh, no, he saved. <laughs> this is gonna get bad, isn't it? Oh, yeah, he hit me for not much. Did I just stun him to death? I think I did. All right. Good to know. That's all the map there. You know what? I'm not. I'm not at the mercenary camp right now. So uh, let's just let's just take care of this with a little more effectiveness. Bam! Cut him! Don't just stand there. There we go. I guess we're just gonna wander from beastie to beastie. Take them down. Oh, how did I miss? <laughs> I think, yeah, I just blew him away. Nice. Nice. Alright, let's fill in the map orders. Uh, running with a lightsaber out like that seems like it might be just a tad bit dangerous, though. Alright. Don't mind me. Just filling in the map. Coloring in the lines. Do, 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 do. We got a happy little border there and a happy little border there. No, uh, no lootables, though. Uh, I'm a little disappointed on the, uh, lootables option. Alright. Let's take care of you. And then we're going to enter in the camp there. And some things are about to happen. Uh, it's about time to... It's where I'd normally stop, but I, I can't stop here like that. Alright, so this episode is going to be a little bit longer. Switch back. All right, that's back to the plains. Let's uh, make our way to the camp. Shall we? Do, 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 do. Oh, you know, before we do anything that might cause some weird issues, let's go ahead and save the game. Because that seems smart. I can't wait for those salvagers to ship off this planet. We smell it up. They do, apparently. All right. You guys are named. Smells like another salvagers coming. Oh, our come camp. on. Vacate mud liquor. Don't make me tell you again. Ease off, Nalik. <laughs> There's better sport than this one. I don't wait, need wait, help wait, to take wait. out a mud liquor. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Uh, mud liquor is that even an insult? You want to fight me? You're as dumb as you look. I have no problem with you. Eh, let's try the Persuade. Let's see if we can smooth this over. You fight in any wars? I fought in the Jedi Civil yeah. War. Yeah. I guess you don't look like much sure of a salvager. Did. Uh, which side were you in the Sides war? Sides don't matter much. Mm -hmm. We're all soldiers. 
Most of us mercenaries worked with the Sith. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not too many Republic soldiers survived the war. Why do you want to fight me? I thought you were one of those useless salvagers. Or perhaps an uppity wait, settler. Wait, 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 wait. I've had about enough of their attitude. So I figured blasting one of them would have done me some good. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had work. Okay. You were a soldier too. <laughs> so you know I'm not going to answer you. Um, force persuade. I, uh, I want to answer your question. Oh, my head. I don't know for sure. <laughs> I hear rumors. I heard we got a secret job. A secret with job, you say? Organization. No one tells me who. I know we're planning an attack soon, but I don't yeah, know okay. against who. They aren't too far though, because we're expecting to attack soon. Any idea who you're working for? I told you what I know. Someone rich and powerful. Yeah, okay. We're not going to have to hit up settlers for food and supplies anymore. I don't feel so well. I feel dizzy. Ah. I got to go now. Okay. Oh. Well, okay. Yerevik is dangerous. He dueled a mercenary. It wasn't even a contest. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we do have some Mandalorians. All right, that's right. Goes walked into our camp, boys. Mandalore himself has come. Mandalore himself. I am the new Mandalore. I have reclaimed Mandalore's helmet, lost after our defeat at Revan's hands. Assemble the rest of your clan. You will return to Duxon. We must <laughs> come together as we were before and prepare to fight a new war, a war that will return us to glory. And if I take that helmet from you. I guess that makes me the new Mandalore. I've always Well, I mean, I guess that's technically how it works. I know about your exploits, Mandalore. Hmm. We have fallen far in the past years, but even still, I will not wait, stand wait. idle. Wait, wait. Are you sir or you sir? claims to be my leader. It is unfortunate that you feel that way. Perhaps I'll be able to change your mind. Stay out of this. Nope. This is my fight. Okay. Uh, okay. So here we are. Let's, uh... Hmm. Yeah, let... Oh, just one-on-one. -on -one. Good. Power Blast. Shield. I'll keep the regeneration implant going. And, uh... Alright. <laughs> Is he seriously trying to, like, fisticuffs me? Okay. That's one way to, that's one way to get a little recruitment done, isn't it? Influence gained, Mandalore. That's always good. Cause I stayed out. Hey, anything on the uh, anything on the body? All right. We get tired of clearing out the calf hounds from our perimeter. The plains are just full of. All right. Uh, what about that you? Thorian and Kunda is a flaming lucky Pazak player. Huh. If he bets for real money. He just doesn't lose. Yeah, I noticed that. I, I call shenanigans. All right, let's do this last conversation and then we'll call it a night with uh, Gopek. You've wandered into the wrong camp. You got <laughs> the look of a warrior, and we got all the blasters we need. I know how this works. A mercenary or two can easily get work during the dry times as a bounty hunter or bodyguard. There's always odd jobs around. Yep. But large mercenary groups have to wait for things to get interesting to make their credits. It can be very lucrative and challenging work hmm. if there are battles to be fought. You Glad can I brought you along. Too. Just take a trip spaceward. We don't need any more competition. Got it? Uh, hmm. I'm not looking for work. You don't think I'd make a capable mercenary? Do you know anything about a thief? Let's go with a thief. I know about the thief. The amount of noise the settlers have made over that thief, you'd think he stole their whole planet. Oh, that's Before fair. Before you ask, I have no idea who the thief is. It's not one of us. If we wanted okay. something that bad, we'd just take it. I 
I heard you have been making trouble for the settlers. What if we do? They're practically begging to be pushed around. You've seen them, right? They're weak. Uh, they're all sympathetic. I think you have the right idea. No, their skills don't lie solely in warfare. This isn't a failing. You sound like a flaming Jedi. Well, I, I mean... I just mean their weapons. I meant their character. They're very quick to blame everyone but themselves for their problems. So the galaxy has dealt them a bad hand. Eh. They should ante up and get back in the game. The administrator is different. Uh... Can you tell me about the mercenaries? Most of us are veterans of the Jedi Civil War. Some even fought in the Mandalorian Wars. Hmm. A lot of soldiers have been looking for a place in the galaxy. The really skilled... I think those mercenaries just left on account of their Mandalore. Uh... So who's your leader? A sentient by the name of Asgul. He was an elite Asgul, trooper from Malak say. during the Jedi Civil War. He knows how to wage war. Ah, so why haven't you been able to line up a we job? We had a contract with the Republic, doing some work in the Outer Rim. But they scaled back. Oh, okay. They were some of the casualties. Now the Republic isn't hiring anymore. I hear they have no credits. No, <laughs> that's fair. Uh, so what do you do when you're between jobs? We find ways to divert ourselves. A lot of I us bet. find odd jobs. There are many more mercs around than what you see on Dantooine. We're spread out. Uh, can we talk about something else? Have time to kill. What do you think about Dantooine? It's just another spaceport to yeah. me. Okay. We've been here too long for my taste. I think this the is settlers. the last go round. Oh, yeah. Why choose Dantooine as your we base? We have to live somewhere. Something those settlers don't seem to understand. Oh, I mean. That flaming administrator and her cat hound Zeron can't keep their noses out of our business. There's a natural order to things that they just don't seem to get. They'll learn. Why about so? What are you planning to do? Just make sure these settlers know their place. The hmm. Republic isn't going to send a single trainee to help this planet. Uh, what do you think about the administrator? She's got spirit, but she seems to focus most of her effort on trying to get us off this planet. Terena has to learn. That we aren't moving. Oh. Okay, so what about the settlers? It galls me to think we fought wars to protect Gizka like them. Ooh. They don't do anything That's a little harsh, dude. And they don't know how to... How to take responsibility. They're on their own. And either they should start hmm. working and stop whining, or else they're in for a tough ride. I mean, you're not actually wrong. I have time to kill. Right. And talking about Dantooine just irritates me. All right, that seems to be everything. All right, so we've had our fun. We've uh, talked. We've added some more Mandalorians to the Mandalore's crew. I am curious to see uh, the next time we end up on uh, Ducks and what that's going to look like. Uh, let me let me get myself. Uh, I need yeah okay. Let me let me get myself to the other side of the map, ready to go. And uh, and then, although I probably need to head to uh, head to, oh you know what I haven't seen? I haven't seen a workbench anywhere. That's actually kind of weird. This is another planet that has nowhere to upgrade your gear. I'll check around the, the Metali place again and see, but I don't... It doesn't look like there's anywhere to upgrade your gear. Except, well, technically on the ship. You feel it? The wound on this world, oh. it is centered here. Oh, those guys look familiar. In gathering the Jedi, they will come to this place. And if those Jedi are slain, then all that remains of the Order shall be drawn here as well. Um... Wait a second. Why, why do I get the feeling that we're, uh... So, the Jedi still live? Perhaps in the shadows of the galaxy. Huh. We will know when the time comes. Yeah, I'm starting to feel some more ulterior motives. Do not. So, who's our enemies? Alright, uh... It looks like there's another assassination group, so... I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and save. 
I'll try to find somewhere to, to use all those crystals and whatnot that we just got for upgrading everything. But in the meantime, that concludes this episode. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this and if you want to get notifications don't forget to hit the bell and if you really truly enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff if you have any questions queries quips quotes comments complaints or other whatnot don't forget to leave those in the comments down below lastly if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.